Good morning, it's this coconut. How are you doing today? So the other day I posted on my community board and please start checking the community board. I'm going to be more active and drop a little bit of fun stuff and some tips. Anyway, I posted that the 4th of July was a great day to collect some rainwater. And maybe it didn't rain in your area, and that's understandable. Maybe you didn't know it was going to rain, so you weren't prepared. Maybe you don't know why you should collect rainwater in the first place, and so you don't care. Um, but part of being a spiritual person, you know, that's not religious, but a spiritual person that's connected to the elements and to the universe, you have to pick up the clues and the signs and go by what nature does to learn what you should be doing, okay? And rainwater is very beneficial in the work of a worker, you know, a root worker, a spiritualist, a witch, etc. And there are many types of rainwaters you can collect and many uses for them. But that's another video for another day. <laughs> So today, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the retrograde that is now upon us and sort of how it affects your money, okay? So when I said collect the rainwater the other day, it was because the 4th of July was upon us. And as we know, that's America's birthday. But did you also know that that is the time when Sun and Sirius, okay, the Sun and Sirius... You all know what Sirius is, right? That is when they are the closest together. So it's like a powerful meeting of the minds. That is when the planet is really illuminated with the energy of the sun and Sirius. Sirius brings with it the connotation of higher consciousness. You know, many people feel like we came from Sirius. So there is that. Um, it represents freedom. It represents technology, abundance, fertility. Many ancient astrologers believe that Sirius was the home or is the home of an advanced race who um, is like our benefactor. So a lot of, cons I don't want to say that word. <laughs> a lot of people feel that when um, America is celebrating July 4th, it's tapping into some very potent ancient energy that like comes down in waves of consciousness for us. And this is how we're able to advance with all of the technological products that you see being pushed out that are mind blowing. Like, you know, it transcends what we are capable of thinking. So people think they're tapping into very ancient magic there. So this is why I was saying collect the rainwater. Okay, so now with the advent of the retrograde, everything is in retrograde. There's like so many planets in retrograde right now. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, at least five and maybe one coming up. And of course, it's going to affect your money. So now we've grown up to the fact that even though there's a retrograde, what we should do during retrograde is rethink, renew, regrow, retreat, repurpose, okay? That is what we do during the retrograde. We don't hide, we don't get fearful, but you do want to be conscious of the decisions you're making with your money, okay? So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. This is not the time really to start new contracts. This is not the time to start new businesses. This is not the time to do surgery, uh, like for beauty cosmetic purposes. You know, this is not the time for you to begin partnerships. A lot of people have great ideas um, and maybe you lack funding. So you want to pair up with someone, but this is not the time to go forward with that venture. This is the time for planning. It is the time for fine tuning, going over these contracts, looking at loopholes, you know, doing research. This is a time for that. In fact, if you have products, this is a great time to ask people to review the products for you, okay? This is a great time to go to seminars. This is a time for you to really hone in on your craft and make sure that you are as marketable as you can be because you have educated yourself about the field that you have chosen to go into, okay? So when it comes to your money, for me, 
money magic at this point is about reinforcement okay so we're not going to do anything new but what we are going to do is make sure that the home is fortified all right now if you haven't watched my videos on the wallets i will link them to show you how to keep the wallet blessed but what we're going to do today is a very simple ritual it's very grounding because a lot of the mercury jupiter saturn and pluto neptune retrograde energy is erratic and chaotic okay and so you may feel at this time that you're overwhelmed emotionally. You may feel at this time that your dreams are keeping you up or waking you up in the middle of the night and they're fragmented. And some of them may be a little bit scary, especially with that Pluto energy um, that's been around for a few months. Um, so you may be having very deep dreams that are symbolic and um so what you want to do with your money at this time is to protect it and do the rituals that kind of keep things grounded for you okay so i'm going to show you the ritual at the end after i go over briefly what you should be doing with your money as each planet retrogrades okay so first up we have mercury we know mercury rules communication and this ha and it happens to be retrograding in the sign of Leo. So you're going to have to be very careful about arrogance, ego, pride, inflexibility issues when it comes to money. If you are in a partnership, do not fight. Learn how to budget, be on the same page. Whatever is fair for one of you is fair for the other. Meaning don't spend money that the other person doesn't know about. If you are the type to help your family, make sure you have a amount that you both agree upon. You agree you can spend $50 to help a family member without checking in, then that's fine. This is also the time to fine tune those contracts, to make sure you have your receipts, and to read all of the stipulations of any loans or credit lines that you're thinking about applying for. Because we know that Mercury brings the upsets with contracts and technology, emails getting lost. Uh, you may find that you can't find that approval and things of that nature. So just slow down and pay attention. Next, we have Jupiter. It's been retrograding for a few months. Jupiter is all about abundance. It happens to be in Sagittarius right now which has a very wandering energy about it and a little bit of irresponsibility at times um but sagittarius are the leaders they're natural born leaders so you want to take the clue from that and revamp your strong suit so revamp think about ways that you can promote yourself you know maybe rebranding at this time you want to think about journaling out these thoughts to kind of try to tie them down and check your spending. So make sure you're pending and your available balance. You're on top of those things because at this time you may see an authorization authorization come through, then drop off. And then you think you have more money than you do and you don't and you spend it and now you're in the hole. So be very careful about that. Okay. So again, you're going to slow down. You're going to revamp research some classes because like i said with sagittarius being such a strong leader this is the time for you to hone in those skills they are usually very great orators so consider taking some type of class that's going to help you with public speaking okay and then we, next we have saturn which happens to be in Capricorn, right? Which is so funny. And Saturn is about limitations and boundaries, okay? Now, Capricorns at their worst, they're very pessimistic people. They're moody, they're detached. I could go on with how stubborn they are. And um, this is going to bring a lot of that energy people feeling where they're feeling stifled, where they keep getting no's and turned down and that's not good enough. And this is the fifth draft and now they're asking for more. This is that what you're going to feel right now with this energy, but delays are not denials, okay? So be positive. Do your affirmations during this time. Make sure that you're operating in integrity. My daughter has a channel, it's Marisa Antia, and she is really 
um, showing people how to manifest their best lives. So this is the time that you are want to really ground yourself with manifesting abundance, prosperity, videos, music, meetings, people. You're going to need that energy to counteract the fact that Saturn and Capricorn are together. That energy is, is very heavy, y'all. And then we have Neptune coming up in Pisces uh, again. So now, if you've been dreaming, if your dreams are fragmented, if they're um, apocalyptic in nature, if your dreams seem to be very surrealist, serial, do I mess up a word every video? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> if your dreams seem to be surreal at the moment, um, it is because of Neptune. And um, so it brings a lot of fearful and impractical energy with it, okay? So this is reality check time. And in fact, it was the fact that Neptune is retrograding in Pisces of all things that made me say, okay, we have to do grounding money work during this time, okay? Now, this is the time you want to watch out. So reality check, watch out for the red flags. So if you got a spouse coming to you all of a sudden with, you know, some money missing issues or big expense issues that can't be accounted for. If you're just meeting someone and they're already hitting you up for money, red flag, red flag. OK, watch it. Watch it. It's all an illusion. Pisces. Neptune is an illusion energy, okay? Illusion, I'm not going to even try the word. <laughs> Just know that it's, it's Maya, okay? And then um, we have Pluto coming up next with the Capricorn energy again. And so this is a lot to do with the underworld. It's very erratic and quirky. It has a lot to do with addictions. It has a lot to do with the hidden. So things tend to be exposed at this time. So don't be surprised if you find out that um, you have a balloon payment. Don't be surprised if you find out that the length of a loan has been extended. Um, if you're going for mortgage contracts, make sure that there are no clauses in there that's going to come back to bite you in the butt, okay? So you want to be careful that you're making really great decisions during these retrogrades that are occurring with your money um, because the energy, like I said, is very erratic and chaotic and limiting, okay? So what you do want to do is a grounding money spell. So that brings me to my next point. When I told you guys to collect the rainwater, it's because the July 4th energy is so potent. It's a very abundant time. It's celebrating the um, formation of America, which is one of the most highly occultic <laughs> places you can be on earth. And, you know, and um, you want to remember when you're collecting the rainwater, the intent that you want to use it for. So we're going to take this rainwater that we've collected. If you don't have the rainwater, use spring water, okay? The energy is still there. Um, it's only July 7th, I think. And so you take the water and you're going to take the Rose of Jericho because that represents the earth. And you, I like to let my Rose of Jericho dry out a little bit. And that way, it keeps the fungus down, the mold down off of it. So you let it dry. And now when I place it in the water, it's a very symbolic time for me in the house now. Because I'm saying I trust, I have faith, I believe that just like this plant comes back to life and blooms in all its glory, this is how the money is going to work for me during this time. And you want to place a few coins in the center of your Rose of Jericho once it begins to unfurl. It depends on your tradition. It could be three dimes. It could be five pennies. It's up to you. I don't really get into that part. You do as you're led. And then this water, you sit by the front door of the home. And... Wait about five days. You're going to add a little Florida water to this. And then you're going to throw this at your front and back doors to protect the home. 
and then you can do the process again, you know, fill it up with spring water and just allow it to sit. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I hope to hear some really great reports back from you all about the money, how it worked out for you during these retrogrades. Y'all, Elm Stream Bredzy.